What's up everybody? This video is going to have Demi, one of our EMT patients, going through a medical scenario. As always, keep in mind Demi is one of our actual EMT students, and so things maybe aren't going to be perfect, but we want this to be a good learning opportunity for you to go through. Uh, one other thing to make note of, we allow our students uh, five minutes to write things down on a sheet if they would like to beforehand. Uh, we gave Demi that time before the video started, so you might see she has some things written down on her sheet. She does not have the sheet in front of her. This is an actual scenario as if she were testing. So let's get to it. Uh, all right, Demi, you ready for medical? I'm ready. Okay, great. You are going to a 25-year-old female patient with abdominal pain. This is your patient right here. All right. So first thing, BSI, is my scene safe? Scene is safe, BSI is on. My nature of illness is abdominal pain? That's all you have so far. Um, is this she my only patient? Just one. All right, I'll go ahead and consider requesting ALS. Okay. Um, and I'll consider C-spine if needed. Okay. So upon approaching my patient, what's my general impression? Uh, as you see here. Okay. Um, okay, so hi, uh, my name's Demi. I'll be taking care of you. I, I'm i just curious, do you know who, what your name is? Uh, Taylor. Taylor, okay, do you know where we are right now, Taylor? Uh, yeah, my house. Okay, and then um, what year is it? Uh, 2024. Okay, now if I gave you a dollar and I took away two quarters, um, how many cents would you have left? Uh, 50. Perfect. Okay, so she's A and O times four. Um, what's, what seems to be uh, the problem? It looks like you're having some pain in your abdomen. Yeah, it just like started just a little while ago and it's super bad. Okay. Um, when I'm looking at her, am I noting any uh, like major bleeding happening at this nope. time? Okay. No bleeding noted. Airways patent because she's talking to me. Um, and then what is her respiration, um, her breathing rate, rhythm, and quality? Yeah, it uh, looks a little bit labored and a little bit rapid. Okay. And then um, her pulse. What's the rate, rhythm, and quality of her pulse? Uh, slightly rapid, strong, regular. Okay. And then what's her skin size? Uh, skin's all normal. Perfect. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just um, put her on a nasal cannula for now at uh, four liters um, per minute. And um, we'll definitely want to transport her um, just based because it's abdominal pain, young female. Um, and then let's go ahead and get uh, her heart rate. Okay, heart rate is 112. Uh, okay, respirations? Uh, respirations are 22. Okay, and then blood pressure? Uh, blood pressure is 126 over 74. Okay, and then SBO2? Uh, SBO2 is 99% on that nasal cannula. Perfect, and um, I'd also like a blood glucose on her. Blood glucose is 110. Okay, awesome. So, Taylor, um, do you have any allergies? No. Okay. And then are you on any medications? Um, I take like Excedrin um, okay. sometimes for my like period. Sounds good. Are you on birth control? No. Okay. And then um, what, uh, what's the, uh, your past pertinent medical history, anything pertaining to now? No, it just, this came on super fast and it's like super bad. Okay, and then what was your last oral intake? Um, I had a sandwich at lunch. Okay. And then um, what were you doing right before the pain just kind of suddenly started? I was just watching some TV. Okay. All right. So, when was your last um, period, Taylor? Um, I last menstrual cycle. missed my last one, um, so maybe like two months ago. Okay. Is there any chance you could be pregnant? Maybe. Okay. So, um, have you noted any bleeding? Um, um, some spotting. Yeah. 
Okay, have you put anything, have you put a tampon in or a pad? No, it hasn't been that much. Okay. Um, does anything you do kind of make it feel better or worse? Um, it's just like, like a 10 out of 10 pain, just always. Okay, and is it sharp? Does the pain radiate? Um, it's just like shooting pain in my lower like stomach area. Okay. It's really bad. Sounds good. So I would probably want to take a look at your stomach um, and just note, is there any distension of the abdomen? Yeah, it feels normal on palpation. Okay, and palpating, perfect. Um, and it came on pretty sudden. So how long has the pain been lasting? Maybe like, it's been a couple hours. Okay. And then have you had any nausea or vomiting? No. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so I'm going to keep her on oxygen. Um, she's probably a little, um, like a little tachycardic just because of pain. That seems about normal. Um, she doesn't seem to be in shock at all. And SpO2 is good. So I, um, I was, I'm maybe guessing this could be, she missed her last period, it could, she's a young female, like my first initial thought is topic pregnancy I'm worried about, um, so I think it's a rapid transport, we want to get to the hospital and get her checked out and make sure she's good to go. I'm going to reassess her every um, five minutes just to make sure uh, vitals are good, she's doing okay on the, uh, the nasal cannula oxygen, um, and if after reassessment, if it's been five minutes, um, what is my heart rate, respiratory rate, blood pressure, and SpO2? I will also say no change on the reassessment of the vital signs. All consistent. Okay, sounds good. So we'll go ahead and call in to, um, let's say, St. Al's. St. Al's, uh, go ahead. St. Al's, this is Medic Demi. I have a patient, age 25, female. Um, she's ANO times four. Chief complaint is abdominal pain. Um, I have her on a nasal cannula, cannula at four liters per minute. Uh, vital signs, her heart rate is 112, respirations are at 22, blood pressure 126 over 74, SVO2 on that nasal cannula at 4 liters is 99%, um, and uh, ETA will be there in 10 minutes. Do you have any questions? No, no questions. Okay. I didn't... Okay. Oh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> right on. Um, I think you crushed it. You did really okay. well. Um, a couple things. So you, you passed. You got all the points. Okay. Everything was really good there. A um, couple things, kind of little sprinkles on top, essentially, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, you were kind of going down the OPQRST route, yeah. but you were leading her a little bit. I'd like to see more open-ended questions unless okay. you have reason to ask Perfect. Like more closed ended questions. Okay. So what does the pain feel like? Because you kind of gave her some words yep. that she could use, but start straight off of what does it feel like? You know, How long has it been going on? Does it radiate? Mm -hmm. Ask more open-ended questions, at least initially, until yep. you led to have to ask Sounds those kinds of questions. Yeah. Um, and then you were spot on at top of pregnancy is what we were going for. Um, you jumped right on it, but you kind of like went down that track and you didn't really explore what else could be going mm -hmm. on. So mm -hmm. yes, you know, ask, yes, the nausea vomiting, which is good, but yeah. I'd still like to see you ask a little more about some other things, right? Okay. Um, what's a vital sign that you could have checked on her that maybe would have gone down that that infection route if it's something abdominal? Uh, temperature. Temperature. You yeah. Didn't, you didn't check your temperature, okay. right? Yeah. When you were told skin sign's normal, mm -hmm. but still it's a good idea okay. to, to, to check for a temperature. Right on. Um, you know, 25-year-old female, no birth control, missed period. Everything was leading towards mm -hmm. something OB-related yeah. or, or OBGYN-related. So yeah. you were good there, but we still just want to cover all our bases. Definitely. So, um, you know, now the vomiting was good, any diarrhea recently, mm -hmm. any, you know, painful urination, maybe this is something to do with like a yeah. you know, UTI, Sometimes, something yeah. there. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, otherwise, I thought you, you, you did the sheet top to bottom perfectly. Cool. Um, your secondary assessment's really good. You asked a lot of really good questions. Um, yeah, I thought you did really, really well. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Oh. All right, guys, that was Demi going through an ectopic pregnancy. Hopefully you learned a little bit here. Uh, like we told her, she did a great job. This is a good one for you to watch to see that nice flow. Uh, keep an eye out on YouTube. We'll be posting more videos. If you missed it, we also started a podcast called Basically EMS. So check that out. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you would like to see, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.